Like many of you, our whole weather team had a chance to see the long awaited movie Twisters over the weekend. Many have asked me how different aspects of the movie are accurate or not, and here's my take on it while avoiding spoilers. Starting with the depiction of tornadoes and storms themselves, the visual and graphic artists nailed it. The way the storms were depicted prior to tornado formation and the way the tornadoes looked and moved had me wondering at times if that was real footage and not CGI. There were a few unrealistic moments and I'll touch on one of those in just a bit. Next, the weather terminology. The producers of the movie did their due diligence to interview dozens of meteorologists and storm chasers like myself. They even had a, the whole set of meteorology notes of mine from college on their set as a reference. You'll hear terms like mesocyclones, wind shear, inflow, and even the ratings of tornadoes used in the proper context for the most part. That was music to a meteorologist's ears. The technology, like drones and radars, were accurately described and utilized from my perspective, but there may have been a few goofs an engineer or researcher might pick out. However, drones and mobile radar technology are crucial to better, better understanding twisters as the movie depicted. Now, the various groups of storm chasers were fairly well represented as many real life chasers were integrated into the movie. There are some real rivalries and there are many amateurs at one point referenced there. However, storm chasers are rarely off roading throughout fields right up to a twister. You're just asking to mess up your vehicle or get yourself stuck if you do that. Now, there were some true depictions of peril around a tornado with real consequences to making the wrong move near one, especially at the beginning of the movie in the overpass scene shown in the trailer. However, the moments the cast got within a few feet of a tornado without harm at one point or at several points, that was unrealistic. In other words, don't try it out. A famous scene in the movie also depicted the tra in the trailer were twin tornadoes. Now, you can certainly get two tornadoes out of a single storm at the same time, but they're usually beneath separate areas of rotation and don't behave the way they are shown in the movie. It's a meteorological oversight, but still a fun scene. Finally, disrupting or destroying a tornado, certainly an ambitious goal of the main characters and clearly lies within the realm of science fiction. However, the concept behind doing so was clever and maybe science will one day help us to do the same. Back to you.